Alright, hi beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in once more. Um, so today we are going to be exploring the things I believed as a child. Mostly the things that my sister told me and I believed. <laughs> so let's get right into it. So when I was like in first through like fourth grade, I went to this one school, which I'm not going to name because, you know, I don't know. Uh, so I went to an elementary school that was really cool. I had a lot of friends there. And at that point, me, my dad, and my sister had just moved into a new house in Brentwood, California. So uh, it was a very new place for me. I was still a kid. So I'm like, all right, big house is really cool. The house was just, just built and uh, or rebuilt because my dad uh, designed it basically and was having it built for us so my sister convinced me that in the downstairs guest bathroom that Bloody Mary lived there and she convinced me that, that so basically in the downstairs bathroom that's where Bloody Mary was and so her backstory behind it because you know there's so many different stories behind Bloody Mary so my sister's story was that before the house was rebuilt this woman named Mary and her kids lived there. Now, I don't know the exact story, but basically it, it ended up that the house was scheduled to be demolished. And in the most classic way, I believed it as a kid, with a wrecking ball. So apparently they stayed in longer than they were supposed to. So the kids were in the backyard, she was in the bathroom, like fixing herself. So the demolition people come in, they see that nobody's home, but they find the kids in the backyard. So they're like, oh, maybe these kids just like snuck into the house and stuff and started playing in the backyard. So they got the kids out and they searched the entire house, but for some reason they couldn't find Mary. So to give you a little bit more backstory, uh, here's the front of the house and here is, is the back of the house and the playground and stuff. The bathroom was right here in like the middle because there was like this big wall because a hallway to the living room and the kitchen and then there was a hallway from the kitchen uh, to the dining room and the bathroom was right there in the middle and then there were sc stairs going upstairs or whatever and so the mirror was on this side and she was facing this way so when the wrecking ball came in it pushed her into the mirror and that's why she's in the mirror and that's why they call her Bloody Mary and my sister convinced me that she was our friend, that she was protecting us, like she wanted to protect her children. So I believed that for the longest time. Now in addition to that, going back to my elementary school, there was this one bathroom where it, the last stall in the bathroom was considered Bloody Mary's stall. And so that's the only stall I would ever use. So I was the badass of the school because I was friends and kicking it with Bloody Mary. So that's what, one of the things I believed as a kid. Another thing I believed as a kid, that like of course Santa existed and everything, and one of the things that my sister also convinced me to believe was that she knew the Tooth Fairy, and the Tooth Fairy's name was Renesame. She was very into Twilight at the time. <laughs> and so I believed her completely, and I think she would write me notes and stuff. One time, uh, when I didn't, get anything one night from the tooth fairy I got really upset so they're like oh well I think you gotta wait one more night because Renesmee was just busy so I'm like all right I'll give her one more day I'm like eight years old at this point so I'm like I don't even know if I believe this but let's try and so so I have one of two things that Renesmee the tooth fairy ended up giving to me both the same night so this cup I was looking at, so in the Halloween store, this cup, I was staring at it the entire time we were in there. I was like, I really want it and stuff, but I couldn't get it. Along with uh, a little set of books that I don't have anymore, or I do have, but they're somewhere I don't know of. And it was just a little set of books about like this tall, like four of them, and they were about dragons. And it came in this little box set. So. I not only got that from the Tooth Fairy, but I got this. And no, it was not underneath my pillow. 
But yeah, th that's something I believed for the super long time until I was like, you guys got this from me from the store, huh? And they're like, yeah. That's when I was like older. I don't know how, I don't know how much older, probably like a year or two later. This one, I'm not really sure where it came from. I'm pretty sure my sister didn't tell me this one and I'm not sure if anyone else told me this or not, but when we lived in a house that my family likes to call the Bamp House because that's the name of the street it was on, we had a backyard and it was like a really cool backyard. It had grass and then it had like a little pathway. We had a garden on this side that never grew anything except for we had an apricot tree that grew and a second apricot tree <laughs> and then we tried to grow corn and other things but that just didn't work. So we would grow apricots. I also hated those things. Ew. Then it would go over to this flower bed, and in the very back of the backyard had this hill and some trees going up. And then, so we would always go up this way. But I always believed that like fairies lived back there, because I mean, if you would have seen this house, magical, beautiful backyard that somehow always grew. Like whether you like helped it and watered it or not. Except for the, of course, the like boxed plants that we had because that never grew. So there was this time, I don't remember how old I was, but my dad was dating this woman and she had a couple kids, one of which was my age, a little bit younger than me. And then they had a cousin that was around our age. So I would hang out with them a lot. And this cousin had this whole imaginary world that we each would be, mostly her, would be the different characters in her world and just kind of like snap out of it and like become a new character basically. And one character that I distinctly remember was Muffin Cat. But basically we would go around, us three, sometime us four when the older sister uh, came and joined us, but not always. It was mostly just me, my technical stepsister, and her cousin. We would always be hanging out whenever we were, they would always be into this game where like all the characters wouldn't like, we would all be the character. At first I was always me and then I started getting into it and like snapping into a different character or something and it was this whole adventure. It mostly took place at their grandparents house which their grandparents house was crazy. The backyard was literally like, let's just say, they were rich. So it had this beautiful big backyard that you could literally get lost in. And I got lost in it like three times, three times, three or four times probably. And it was, and we would always play this game. The camera stopped on me. It just stopped recording. I don't know how to get this camera to record all the way through. So, oh well. Those were the things that I believed as a kid. Um, all weird, all fun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if you guys liked this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit that notification bell for more of my content. And in the comments down below, let me know some of the weirdest things that you believed as a child. All right, love you guys, bye.